I had talked to Christian uh, about his his vision uh, very early on and uh, the idea of you know doing a rotary phone future to kind of uh, make it a little bit more grounded a little bit more realistic not to go too heavy sci-fi with it we like that aesthetic of an alternate future based on 80s and 70s technology but uh we wanted to make it a contemporary story so so we we found this fusion of like it's today or it's it's near future but these guys got put in a very very old bunker and it, that just makes it even worse for them that they have just all this equipment that's super old and it's these guys like just trying to patch together from dusty old machines and computers to preserve the human race. It's not sleek. I think too often sci-fi movies get into this whole, you know, they want to make their sci-fi movies look like the Apple Store, which is very cool. I love going to the Apple Store. But uh, I think that, you know, when you think about things practically, you know, especially life in a bunker like this with, you know, everyday people dealing with these kind of situations, it's not going to be so pretty. I like the, the way that it's mixed high tech with low tech. I think it's very, it's a very interesting approach to it. And if something like this happened, you would grab whatever works and tape it together.